Hello, painting peeps, and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone, guys. I'm happy you joined me here. I got a case today of these canvases. I love them. I love Blix. They always have everything you need. I have never, ever ordered anything that was not in stock, but these are, um, these are cool. These are 11 by 14 and um, it's two and three eighths inch sides. So they're very, very deep. And oh my goodness, that really looks nice hanging on a wall, especially if you've got good drips on your side. People ask me, Kathleen, what do you do to the sides of your painting? It depends on how the sides look. If I'm doing a swipe and my drip lines look really nice, I leave them. If I'm doing a traveling ring pour and we've got good movement on the sides, I leave them. If my sides don't look good, I generally paint them the color of my base coat all the way around, or I paint them black. A uh, black, if there's black in the composition, really makes the canvas pop off the wall. So I'm really, really excited about this. We're going to do a minimalistic painting, possibly swipe it a little. If I swipe it, I'm going to use my Tracy Reed little swiping tool, which comes in several sizes. Where can you get this? Tracy Reed's design on Etsy, or reach out to her on Facebook, or my flexible piece of plastic, or whatever suits me at the time. <laughs> what else? Our base coat today, our base coat is going to be a white. This is bare satin enamel house paint, and it's mixed very, very thin. My pouring medium is Floetrol, a little, GAC 800, and I just got my Liquitex gloss pouring medium. So we are about one part paint, a half a part GAC, a half a part Liquitex pouring medium, and just for good luck, a squirt or two of Floetrol. I keep my Floetrol in a little squeeze bottle and I just squeeze it in a schmidgen at a time and then water to consistency a lot of water. How much water? I can't tell you. It depends on the paint you're using. One of the paints in this painting is a high flow paint. It's very fluid, so it needed almost no water or very, very little water. We've got also a Liquitex Basic medium body paint. It took more water because the density of that paint is thicker. Doesn't mean that the pigment is heavier. My golden paints for me are the best pigmented paints that I have used. Um, what else? Let's talk about our colors. Our base coat once again is Bear Premium Plus, and it is their satin enamel, and I am all done with this baby. <laughs> Got to get me some more. The base coat is mixed with my powering medium. Same ratio. Um, people ask me that question a lot as well. Our colors today in this cup is more of our base coat in case we need it to erase something, add some more negative space. I always keep extra base coat on hand for that particular reason. This yummy color right here is my Golden High Flow. This is an extremely fluid paint. It took very little water once I added my one part paint, half a part GAC, half a part uh, Liquitex pouring medium, and a squirt or two of Floetrol. A few drops of water is all it took to get this to the really thin consistency that leaves no trace, no mound, no mound on a mound on a mound. <laughs> very, very fluid paints, guys. This yummy color right here is a combination. Let's take a look at that consistency again, guys. It's everything. Consistency is as important as your colors and your composition because you can't get a good composition if you don't have the right consistency of paint. That is Rustoli Metallic Accents in their, what is that? That's their 
metallic pewter. And then I lightened it up a little bit by adding my golden iridescent silver to it, which is a fluid paint. This yummy color I used the other day. This is a wonderful color. This is Liquitex Basics Deep Violet. Now, I added a smidgen. Let me grab it. I forgot to grab the paint. I add a, added a smidgen of the Folk Art Treasure Gold Antique Copper to it. This is a very cool paint. It's got a copper hue, a gold hue to it, and the two of these together made a really, really beautiful, beautiful purpley plum color that has a little bit of a gold shimmer in it. Let's take a look at that consistency. No trace, guys. Falls right down without leaving any mound. This is a pretty color right here. Let's take a look at that. I might need just a little bit more water to this. That is... Treasure Gold's Aquamarine, a lovely, lovely paint, and I lightened it up by adding some of my golden titanium white to it. Started off with this, put it in my cup, added my pouring medium to it, stirred it up, and added a drop or two at a time. You gotta go easy, because these golden paints are very high pigmented. So what else? There was something else I wanted to talk to you all about, but I can't remember what it is. Huh. Okay. Whatever. Let's put some tunes on, guys. Let's tap our toes. Let's get busy.
soul.